Alright, welcome back to the Shreveport Connection of One. Me and myself, Tommy. Okay, uh, let's see, uh, WWE Smackdown and Superstars R Report will be presented in this episode and the prom promised two videos that I said I was going to show you are coming up very shortly. But first, I'm going to give you a few brief news. And then I'll show you a video, some more brief news, and then the video. And Marvin sent in word after last night's Raw went off the air, CM Punk cut a promo as the crowd cheered and said that the WWE Champion was back on Raw for good. Marvin also noted that Punk was way more over than John Cena with the live crowd. Okay. Okay, and now, the promised the Zack Ryder imitation of Ultimate Warrior's uh, little uh, gimmick that he uh, used to have, as well as Dolph Ziggler gets five or six different finishers in this match. And one of them was the Ultimate Warrior finish, as I will show you. As you see, there's uh, Beth Phoenix, Herbert Kingston, Zack Ryder. He's preparing the Ultimate Warrior little dance. You can barely see the little tassels hanging down from his arm and legs. In front the boots. Also, Evan Bourne is there, and John... Cena is uh, there to get given the attitude adjustment. Evan Bourne does his last. Airborne. Beth Phoenix does it, does the first grand slam. And this was at a house show over the weekend. begging for, for them not to be him up. Well, John Cena just said <laughs> just gave him the, the, his hand gesture. Now he's begging Beth who he thinks is on his side, but not. As soon as we get up, the next one. Oh yeah, Ray Mysterio is there also. John, and there's the Warriors Flash. Trophies, boom drop. Uh 
And there is Ed, Peter Jessup. And Evan Boyd. Well, how'd you like that one? Okay. Back to more news. Uh, the entrance theme on CM Punk, they debuted last night on Raw on his return, Cult of Personality. I was mistakenly uh, given it by my wife as, uh, as something else. Uh, well, cult of, uh, cult of Personality is by Living Color. Has, has hit, to, hit, hit iTunes Top 200 Songs chart. The song, which originally released in 1988, ranked as high as 126. And, well, just uh, speaking on Ultimate Warrior uh, and uh, his uh, Zack Ryder's video there, responding to Zack Ryder's impersonation of him in the late, latest episode of the Z2 Island, True Long Island Story, available on Zack Ryder's site. And also, uh, earlier this week, Warrior has been uh, posted some videos of his own. Former WWE Champion wrote on Twitter, Another one of all-time greats making my talentless UW look like a million bucks. Awesome belly laughs. No ads for me today. Unquote. And now, uh, Greatest uh, Superstars of the 21st Century is, is officially... Out today, well, I was actually out yesterday, on DVD and Blu-ray, 20 of the greatest WWE superstars of the new millennium are profiled, including Chris Jericho, Edge, Triple H, JBL, Kane, Kurt Angle, The Rock, Randy Orton. And why are they promoting Kurt Angle in this video when he's on TNA? Well, The Rock was on there also, Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar, Trish Stratus, Jeff Hardy, Big Show, Eddie Guerrero, Shawn Michaels, Booker T, Stone Cold, and here's a portion of Brock Lesnar's highlights from the from the video that is on there. Thank <laughs> you. 
Alright, and that's for that one. And now back for the the rest of the show. Okay, uh, WWE has a SmackDown Live event scheduled for Saturday, October 9th, 2011 at the Century Link Center. Notice it has changed names. Century Tail is now Century Link Center. In Boulder City, Louisiana, tickets go on sale Saturday, August 27, 2011 at 10 a.m. Scheduled to appear are Randy Orton, Christian Kane, Big Show, and Zankara, who is currently suspended and may not return. And as always, card is subject to change. Well, uh, John Cena has now held the WWE Championship a record nine times following his title victory last night on Raw. Previous record holder was Triple H, who held the WWE Championship on eight occasions. But if you hold them, held them both together, I believe that was a, I believe that's eleven times. If Cena holds the belt through thir Thursday of this week, he will move past Pedro Morales in fourth place as most combined days as WWE Champion at 1,028 days. JR has indeed returned to WWE full time for commentary. PW Insider reports that management is still up in the air on whether or not Michael Cole will remain on Monday night, but a decision will be made this week. <coughs> and WWE tapes tonight's NXT at, and this week's SmackDown from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, confirmed for TV appearances by Triple H and more on Mark Henry's recent devastations. Advertised locally as Randy Orton versus World Heavyweight Champion in a street fight. And that is your, that was your, your main event dark match. Up until yesterday, WWE officials were deciding if they wanted to bring, bring Punk, CM Punk back on yesterday's show or next week's show. Either way, something apparently changed and they wanted him back for, in time for SummerSlam, so they brought him back last night. Santino Morella noted on Twitter this morning that his nose is broken. Well, match happened like, uh, this is how it happened in a match last night. It's raw as Morella teamed with Chris Masters to face WWE Tag Team Champions David Otago and Michael McGillicuddy in a match tape for Superstars Internet show. And your SmackDown portion of Superstars, thanks to Wesley Pipes, Jim McConville, and Drew Sat. They were at the ta uh, tapings tonight in Philadelphia and were passing along updates on the WWE Superstars taping as, as well as SmackDown, and I'll, I'll give that report at the very end because I have two separate reports for SmackDown. Well, he Slater cut a promo on Philadelphia and talked about how he destroyed the Legends the last time he was in town. He Slater beat Trent Beretta. Slater won with a reverse DDT, Scorpion Death Drop, for those that don't know. This was the only match tape from, from the SmackDown portion of the Superstars, and then they changed it over for SmackDown afterwards. And also uh, there, will, uh, were they used? Wait for the show to happen. John Morrison and our truth backstage at SmackDown tonight. And uh, former WC, WCW WWF uh, female wrestler talent uh, Deborah Maselli, who wrestled under the name of WWE Unlunder Blaze and WCW NWA Medusa. I, th I believe she appeared in the NWA. If I was just WCW. For 15 years, ma uh, she got married over the week to uh, Alan Jonathan, a sergeant in the United States Army in Mem Memphis on si uh, June 25th. She is currently in the process of pinning an autobiography which will exclus extensively cover her wrestling days. And that report, uh, thanks to uh, Wrestling Globe Newsletter. The dark match before tonight's WWE tapings saw Justin Gabriel defeat masked FCW wrestler Hunico. And I believe he's from Mexico, AAA. 
And your NXT uh, results are right now. Uh, should be posted by now. Or po uh, playing right now. The advertised matches were Tyson Kidd versus Yoshi Tetsu in a necklace on a pole match. Is that a first? A necklace on a pole. And Titus O'Neil versus Derek Bateman. Well, first match was Derek Bateman defeating Titus O'Neil. Bateman won with a Bulldog, which Jim called the worst Bulldog he's ever seen. Also uh, said it was an awful match. There was a backstage segment where Hornswoggle fi found a love letter from AJ and kissed her. Maurice made, made fun of AJ's height, which led to AJ hitting her with flowers. Kozlov was shown planking on a vending machine. So I guess they have broken up Kozlov and uh, Santino's tag team. Well, uh, during that little segment, uh, planking on the vending machine, on the vending machine, JTG interrupts. Yoshi Tatsu defeated Tyson Kidd in, a ne in the necklace on a pole match. Kidd back body dropped ta Tatsu, but Tatsu had the necklace in his hand. It was post-match beatdown of, of Tatsu by Kidd who applied the figure four leg lock around the ring post. Then they showed the gra uh, a graphic with John Cena and Rey Mysterio, and Mysterio still had the belt on his shoulder. It appeared that they, they were replaying the Raw main event for NXT. <clears throat> WWE SmackDown, first report, Triple H came out to open the show and said, he re-signed CM Punk to a WWE contract on Monday night. World Heavyweight Champion Christian then comes out, and he, he announced that he'll defend the title against Randy Orton in a no holds barred match at SummerSlam. Uh, guess what? Truth came out at that point, and he said there were there they were he was he was there to continue where they started on Raw. He talked about the conspiracy against him. Triple H announced R2 versus Randy Orton for SmackDown. And that was your uh, mini main event. And also announced uh, late, uh, later in the show, Christian versus John Morrison, and it's up next. Backstage, Triple H and Teddy Long were interrupted by Zack Ryder of No People. And guess what? He got promoted. Hunter announced that Ryder will be Long's new assistant. In other words, he's he took uh, Vicky Guerrero's spot. Not anybody's spot, but Vicky Guerrero's spot. You know the spot that uh, Arn Anderson wanted for Hulk for Horseman? Well, that spot. Backstage, uh, Triple H and... Uh, I already read that. Okay. Christian defeated John Morrison in that match. Christian really played up the heel antics. Morrison looked great in his return match. According to Wesley, who reported this as they uh, combined all, all of it into each one of their little comments, there was a botched reversal at one point that, that looked bad. In the end, Morrison executed a backdrop off the top rope and tried unsuccessfully to follow up with a Starship Pain. Then Christian hit, hit the kill switch and got the win. All right, what, uh, up next is Wade Bear coming out, cut a promo on Daniel Bryan. Bryan comes out to answer his challenge and says he Slater cut the same promo last week, and he made him tap out. Bear punches him and, and taunts him with his own with his own money in the bank briefcase. Daniel eventually counters and put Bear in the LaBelle lock. So I guess he tried to cash in on the U.S. Championship. Not... Or whatever. Uh, okay. Whatever. I don't even know if it... Correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, what belt does Daniel have? I don't think he has any now. Uh, backstage, Teddy Long is talking to Zack Ryder. Mark Henry walks up to them both, and Ryder tells him that he will find him an opponent. Okay. Nexus versus the Usos uh, were advertised for later in the show. Then you got the Divas match of the evening. Alicia Fox, Rosa Mendez, and Melina defeated Natalia, AJ, and Caitlyn. Alicia Fox hit her axe kick on Caitlyn to get the win. There was a Justin Gabriel video that showed him 
at home in South Africa. Mark Henry beat a local wrestler, Bobby Heller. As Heller is from Philly, the Philly area, Henry destroyed him in a squash match with him with two World Strongest Slams and then hit a killer backbreaker. Uh, we'll have to see that killer backbreaker on SmackDown. Henry, Henry then grabbed a chair, but Teddy Long stopped him from using it by saying that he had a lawsuit pending on, on pending and no one wants to fight him. Well, Seamus makes his entrance and said he will fight Henry. Seamus slapped Henry and tossed him out of the ring. Seamus, grabbed, uh, Seamus then grabbed a chair and Henry retreated. So, does it look like Seamus is turning face? Hmm. Michael McGillicuddy and David Otonga defeated Usos to retain the WWE Tag Titles. Uso Brothers didn't, I mean, uh, did their tribal dance to no reaction whatsoever from the crowd, but you have to see that on SmackDown to, to decide for yourself. New Nexus came out to Justin Gabriel's theme song. What? 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 Yeah, you heard, you know, I guess you heard on SmackDown. The Uso Brothers showed a lot of energy and worked in some double team moves. However, Michael McGillicuddy hit his neck breaker to get the win for his team. But how did he get that? That'll be uh, mentioned in the final report from the other thing. Backstage, Johnny Curtis says he will make his SmackDown debut again, uh, again next week. Okay, Johnny Curtis, are you like the Cubs? There's always next year. Uh, the Raw Rebrown Air airs uh, showing Rey Mysterio winning the WWE Championship. Jim Ross returning. John Cena versus Mysterio. Cena winning the WWE Championship back. And CM Punk returning. So, what's the point of this? You got WWE title versus WWE title. Backstage Max Striker interviews our truth our truth says... A good truth, a, a good R-Truth is a bad R-Truth. He says he's like an eagle swooping down and grabbing a snake like a viper. Backstage, Ryder booked Ezekiel Jackson in a handicap match against Ted DiBiase and Cody Rhodes. Well, Cody Rhodes and Ted DiBiase defeated Ezekiel Jackson in the handicap match. Piece of heat for the heels. Paper bag men were out for the crowd. DiBiase started. And was getting destroyed. He tagged Cody, who tagged back to Ted. DiBiase applied a sleeper. Zeke picked him up with one arm, slammed him. Zeke and Cody and uh, had uh, Cody in a torture rack, but Ted broke it, and Cody hit the crossroads for the pin. Jinder Mahal and great, great colleague cut a promo and Pujabi for the for the second level of the arena. And USA chance filled the arena. Well, R-Truth defeated Randy Orton by DQ in the match. Truth had a lot of heat on him. World Heavyweight Champion Chris came out to watch the match from the top of the ramp. Truth gets the win with, uh, by disqualification when Orton uses a chair. After the match, Orton hits an RKO on Truth on the announce, ta on the announce table. And it did break this week to end the match for the DQ as I added this from the, from the results from the next report. Okay, and here's the Wesley Pipes, Jim McConville, McConville and Drew Shatt, SmackDown report from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Big pop for Booker, and lots of heat for Michael Cole when the commentators were introduced. SmackDown open with Triple H, making his entrance. He cut a promo on the state of the World Heavyweight Championship. Christian interrupted and talked about how Teddy Long has tried to run SmackDown in the ground. Hunter said that, that interrupting him is like slapping him in the face. <clears throat> and, uh, well, the, from the, this detailed report, and it was announced that at the uh, SummerSlam, Triple H announces Christian versus Randy Orton in a no holds barred match for SummerSlam. Our truth came out and said he was there to continue what they started on Raw. He talked to the conspiracy against him. 
Triple H announced our truth versus Randy Orton for SmackDown. And also announced that Christian versus John Morrison was up next. Backstage, Triple H and Teddy Long were interrupted by Zack Ryder. Hunter announced that Ryder will be Long's new assistant. Christian defeated John Morrison. Christian really played up the hill antics. Morrison looked great in his return match, according to Wesley. A box reversal at one point looked bad. In the end, Morrison executed backdrop off the top rope and tried unsuccessfully to follow up with the Starship Pain. Christian hit the kill switch, got, got the win. Jim labeled it an excellent TV match. Anyway, Barrett cut the promo regarding Daniel Bryan. Bryan interrupted only to take a cheap shot from Barrett. Bryan countered and made Barrett tap to the LaBelle lock. Ryder and Long were shown backstage with Mark Henry. Ryder said he would find Henry an opponent. Henry said Long Long better thank his assistant. The Nexus versus the Usos br brothers was advertised for later in the show. And match number two is Alicia Fox, Rosa Mendez, and Melina defeating Natalia, AJ, and Caitlin. AJ has improved, according to Wesley. Fox hit her, hit her X kick on Caitlin and got the win. And then they showed the Justin Gabriel video that showed that his uh, uh, home in South Africa. Well, I believe they showed that the, they produced all this the, the footage when they were on the South Africa tour two weeks ago. Match number three, Mark Henry defeated Bobby Heller. Heller was a local wrestler from Philly area, destroyed. He got destroyed in a squash match uh, with two stronger slams and a backbreaker. Henry grabbed a chair, but Teddy Long stopped him from using it by saying he had a lawsuit pending and no one wants to fight him. Seamus made his entrance, and he will fight Henry. Seamus slapped Henry and then tossed him out of the ring. Seamus grabbed a chair, and Henry retreated. Match number four, Michael McGillic and David Otunga defeated the Usos to retain the tag titles. The Usos did their tribal dance to, to no reaction whatsoever. New Nicholas came out to Justin Gabriel's theme song. The Uso brothers showed a lot of energy and work in some double-team moves. However, McGillic and hit his neck breaker to get the win for his team. Well, I guess it wasn't. I got it mixed up with the Cody Rhodes, the, the Cody Rhodes uh, match. Backstage, Ryder booked the Ezekiel Jackson in a handicap match against Ted and Cody. Another pointless Johnny Curtis video of Vignette was shown. Wesley well, said there have been consistent CM Punk chants throughout the show. Our truth was interviewed backstage by Matt Stryker. He said he's going to swoop down like a bunch of eagles on a snake when he faces Orton. Wesley Label it a great promo. Match number five, Cody Rhodes, Teddy DiBiase beat Ezekiel Jackson in the handicap match. Decent heat for the heels. Paper bag men were out for the crowd. DiBiase started, but was getting destroyed. He tagged Cody, who to tagged back in. Ted, DiBiase applied the sleeper. Zeke picked him up with one arm for the slam. Zeke had Cody in the torture rack, but Ted broke it up. Cody hit the crossroads for the win. Jinder Mayhall and Great Collie cut a promo from the luxury suites. It was hard to make out what they were saying since they were in their in their Punjabi language. And of course the USA chance for the crowd. The match number six, our truth beat Randy Orton by DQ. Truth came out to a little heat. Orton uh, got <coughs> got the thunderous ovation. Truth received such, uh, such chance and sold it by looking pissed. Truth got in a little offense and some near falls. Orton came back and then Christian came out. For the distraction, Randy hits the DDT off the top row, off the off the second ropes, and struck the Viper's pose. Two so saw, saw the RKO coming and dipped out of the ring. Christian distracted Orton. Truth got his water bottle and hit Orton with it. Orton mocked Truth and drank, drank the water. He followed up with fast pass and punches. Orton hit Truth with a chair for the DQ. Christian ran to the stage. Orton hit a pair of RKOs on Truth on the announcer's table to a big pops. And Dark Match, uh, I guess that was that ended the show. Dark Match was Christian defeating Randy Orton in a street fight to retain the World Heavyweight Championship. Teddy Long's music played for roughly about five minutes after the previous match before Zack Ryder finally came out and set up the Dark Match. Christian said Philly does not deserve a street fight for the World Heavyweight Championship. 
Christian said he hasn't met one tough person from Philly. And he said he will not see an RKO on him tonight. Great heel by Christian. The crowd ate it up. In the end, Cody Rhodes and Ted, Ted DiBiase came out and distracted Orton. And Christian rolled up Randy for the pin. Orton hit RKOs on everyone, on everyone to close the show. Well, Drew's uh, list of the biggest pops for CM Punk, even though he, wa he wasn't here. Triple H, Seamus, and Randy Orton for the live. Most heat was Michael Cole and, of course, Mark Henry. So, according to uh, this uh, report from uh, the SmackDown, updated matches for SummerSlam pay-per-view are Randy Orton versus Christian in a no-holds-barred match. And was confirmed for SummerSlam, and it looks like Seamus versus Mark Henry may also take place. And that will end the SmackDown results, along with the other results from Superstars and NXT. Thanks for viewing, and stay tuned for more results on TNA's Spoilers for Impact Wrestling.